Now here they go. We saw the hands out the window. How many are going to turn left? Five, eight, ten. We'll Four. call it the whole field. Yeah, Basically it looks the like field. the nine of Chase Elliott locking up the tires there, too, to get to pit road speed. That's the eight. Parker. And guys, Joe Legato leads this whole pack of Fords and Chevys, and they were purposely pitting near each other because they did not expect to pit at the same time as you see right sides for Joe Legato. Chaos on pit road, Marty. Boy, this is what happens when everybody comes on pit road, nearly a wreck. Chase Elliott coming in. It's going to be fuel only. Also, Harrison Burton here. They're going to go with four fresh Goodyear tires, actually left side tires for Harrison Burton. And the nine was fuel only. Steve, would you be worried about those tires? Seemed to get a little bit of flat spot there when he came to pit road. I'm worried about everything that just happened in this pit cycle. That might be the biggest pack of green flag pit stops I have ever seen. Now it was dicing off pit road, dicing off pit road. And here comes the Toyotas at speed. And I believe they're going to take the lead. And I don't think it's the out lap or the in lap. I think it's just getting on pit road. Jeff, you always say less cars. You can be more aggressive to come to pit road. The Toyotas came very small. They really see Parker Kligerman. They're they're nowhere near each other. That's a bad sign. Yeah. So clearly a brake issue. And Parker just in there. And poor Ryan Ellis just an innocent victim, but obviously a mechanical issue with Parker's car. What a helpless feeling. The line there, maybe a little bit of wheel spin as up through the gears they go once again, and it's Bowman with the preferred line on the inside coming up to turn one here. Three wide behind him for third and fourth, and around goes Ty Gibbs right in front of the field. The eight of Josh Berry went to the middle on that restart entering turn one. I don't think Ty Gibbs ever knew he was there turned into the corner, made contact, and around he went. Elmendinger up to fifth through all that melee in front of oh, him. Oh, no! Josh Berry got into the back of the 98, and around goes that monster energy car. I'm and the here, caution boy. still does not come out. It's a tough two miles for the monster energy company, both cars. Both Justin Allgaier. Restart that time for Redick, though. He's got a car link on second. road to get back on track now the aid of Tyler Reddick continues to fight him is this legal for the one to be up here racing right now like NASCAR trying to figure that out themselves look at that car that's the that's the crab walk on the same lap <laughs> getting themselves in trouble getting a little experience sixty six falling oh Oh boy, sure did. Oh, oh man. Looked like he might have twisted his ankle when he landed. Well, that could have been much worse, but uh but what a heads up move by Ty Majeski. You saw you saw that orange square. That's where he was supposed to stop. He saw him having trouble and stopped shorter. That would have been a lot worse. Oh, the 98's got a problem. Flat tire. He's spinning out. Sliding through the grass at over 185 miles an hour. Carson comes out. Like the left rear tire went down, Rick. Wide eyed Riley Hurt. We didn't what? anything, we'll be all right. A ride that was. Out here, so just get her rolling. What happened there? And this is the scariest part. When you go over those access roads, sometimes you can see him kind of hop up in the air and land on the other side. I mean, really, I don't see much damage at all to this car. Right that, there could have been bad. Yeah, the splitter digging into the ground right there. I'll, that splitter is my biggest concern, too. I think that's what she's going to remark about Steve when he goes across those access, access roads. The splitters usually catch. But he's recognizing the issue right there. I was thinking he might be able to get it slowed down. But it's it's driving like a forklift at that point. World. Wow. I'm not sure what happened before that, but destroyed the front of Alfredo's 23. Yeah, this is under caution. Well, I can't tell from that angle if he was. 26 is coming on the bottom, like I said. And Anthony was going, he ran in the back of him. Pack is to your left. Here comes the 26 of the red car of Nemechek, but Alfredo just carried too much speed to the back of the pack. That one's totally on the 23. I couldn't tell from our first replay if the 26 maybe brake checked him. You know, was he was he mad about it? So right here, he's just 
slow it down because he doesn't want to pass the car on his outside, and he gets absolutely run over. He's back on the lead lap. You see him spinning right here. I guess I don't know if the right front was down before or after. It might have went flat after the slide. It looks like it has air in it right there. Yeah. So. I would think if the right front was down, he wouldn't have been spinning. There. Yeah, I agree, Jeff. I just jumped to the right front. Now, you, you, the crew chief in me, I'm trigger happy to talk about tires going down because that's what I'm so concerned about. That looks like a separate issue. Let's ride with Chase Briscoe. Now by himself. Check up low, 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 I think he wanted to go low, 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 low. <laughs> and a slow stop here for Harrison Burton, who led 16 laps. He didn't want any adjustments. They had an issue on the right rear, so he'll lose a host of positions from the lead. Russ Chastain, the two-tire strategy. 21 on pit road, right where they put fuel in. Drop it down, roll forward. Drop it down, roll forward. Drop it down, roll The wheel not on that left rear, but the fire. They had to move them out of the way. What a, what a smart call, Steve, to have them just drop the car, get it out of the fire, and then come back and fix this problem. Yeah. What a mess. You're exactly right. Here she comes in. Oh, that's she hot. did. Yeah, yeah, she caught the... And, and she, she crossed the line and ran into her tire carry, and that's why these... Now, these guys have to dodge this tire bouncing across pit road, and what a great job they did. And I would imagine that's what brought the caution out when that crew member ran so close to the racetrack, which is a no-no to get that tire. No up to second now as he gets just the nose in front of the 18, but here comes... Bain fighting back on the inside again. Whoa, he's spinning. Sideways, and Bain, can Hold he catch it? it? Hold on to it. He does. Good catch. Come on. That was a massive save. Unbelievable. I thought he was going around. For some of the second half of the top 10 drivers, let's take a look what happens in the 19. Gets loose right there. In front of Jeremy Clemens. We're riding on board right now. NASCAR thought he was going to spin out. This is the corner. You cannot see the racetrack until right now. I think, oh, 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 we're spinning. And around he goes. Lock her down. No contact with anything. Right you know, just a normal racetrack, but it's not. It's slick, and he was just trying to accelerate. Back in the car came around, and he just never was able to catch up with it. Yeah, it just gets a little behind on the steering. What happened to the 66? Oh boy, just maybe some wheel hop by looks of the tire marks. I'd say that's a good bet. He started losing it early. He was still on the straight, which tells me he got on the brakes and immediately it started wheel hopping. Let's try to take a look at what happened here. Oh yeah, you see him middle of the coin going straight up in turn two. Man, pretty hard contact. That's an area of the corner where, uh, you know, thankfully it wasn't a corner entry. I mean, I, I know it was still a hard hit. Corner entry, though, is the max speed of the corner, so a little bit farther around. We'll follow the stops first. Ross Chastain. Oh, hit. He got oh, hit coming into his wow. pit stall. Rick, you called it live. It was definitely off the bumper of the five. I don't know if Truex checked up more in the speed lane. See, he kind of is slowing down, obviously, in front of the five. The five can't speed up. He'd be speeding on pit road. So drivers, what's the etiquette? Do you normally blend left earlier than you check up? I mean, it seems like an, an, an odd odd kind of stack. And then right here, great work by the pit crew. You see the jack get hit. So thankful this pit crew was heads up and had an escape plan. Very dangerous situation for the 19. Yeah, I mean, gr great response by those guys, seeing it coming, jumping back over wall. That's the main thing. Nobody got hurt. That Boy, another Toyota with a power steering issue. Martin was kind of the first one to report it in stage one, said it was intermittently locking up, but when it locked up, it totally locked up, and now it's done, and you see Truex, who is not in the playoff hunt here, out of the race car. We'll see if we can get a word with Martin Truex Jr. here and ask him